welcome to today's session so we continue looking at the 2022 gce mathematics paper one exam so we're looking at question nine which leads in the diagram below m l and k are points on the surface of earth pi is equal to 3.142 and radius 3437 determine the difference in longitudes between points m and and k so m is 48 degrees west of gmt then k is 32 degrees east of gmt so when you have two points one is on the west the other one is on the east what you do is to find the difference you add if you have two points on the east you subtract if you have two points on the west you also subtract you are subtracting the furthest the, the the closest to gmt from the furthest so in this case to answer this question what we do is we are going to add so in this case is 48 degrees west which is point m then plus 32 degrees east which is point k so we get 80 degrees so 80 degrees is the difference so this is how easy it is to get two points then let us move to question number two so number two, calculate in nautical miles the distance between M and K along the latitude 80 degrees. So the, the formula is given by, in this case generally when you're moving along the, the latitude, we are moving along the latitude is MK is equal to, in this case, between M and K. So we have this pi, this theta, which is basically the difference between two latitudes or two longitudes, sorry. So in this case, it's this difference that we found, which is 80 degrees, then over 316, okay. Then we multiply by pi, 2 pi, r, which is in this case, the circumference of, of the circle. Then we multiply by cos latitude you are moving, which is cos a latitude, where alpha is the latitude. So in this case, the latitude is 80 degrees north. Then the difference between longitude m, the longitude that passes through m and the longitude that passes through k, is this um, theta that we've already found. So in this case, we've already found this. So mk equals, so we get this 18 over 316, then we multiply by a 2, then the pi is a 3.142, then multiply by radius, which is 34, 37, then multiply by cos at 80 degrees north. Yes. Okay, which is in this case 80. So once we simplify this, we end up with using our calculator. So remember, make sure to use the calculator so that you don't waste so much time. We get 833.438 to three decimal places. Then we, we, we need to give our answers to three significant figures. So in this case, it's 834, 33 nautical miles as our answer so basically this is how you answer question number two let us move so this is question number two a let us move to question number uh, a to b a to b okay so let me just create space so a to b in this case we ask to calculate the distance in not come out between K and L. K and L. So in this case, we are moving along the longitude. The other one, we are moving along the latitude. So this one, we don't need to use the cost. We don't need to. So because we are moving through the original circle, where the radius is this one. So in this case, KL or LK in this case equals theta over 360 
we multiply by uh, 2 pi r okay so we need to find the difference in lat in uh, latitudes between k and l so on k we are on latitude d 80 degrees north then on l we are 85 degrees south so the change in latitude as we are moving along the longitude because one is the north of the equator the other one is south of the equator again we use the same principle that we used on a1 so you add if they are all on the southern part of the equator you subtract the closest to the equator from the furthest to the equator so in this case so the difference the difference so we need to find first of all the difference in degrees we have 80 north plus 85 south so we are getting basically 165 so this 165 is a angle that we use there and kl becomes 165 over 360 we multiply by a 2 multiply by 1.3.142 which is pi then multiply by 34 37 which is radius in nautical miles then at the end of the day we get 9899.1 nautical miles so we give to uh, three significant figures we end up with 9,900 nautical miles so this is how you get the six marks from question 9 so we have answered question 9a